on October 30th, 1938. Radio listeners across the United States sat stunned as a series of news bulletins described Martians invading Earth. Martian cylinders are falling all over the country. This is the end now. While the broadcast sounded real, it was a fictional production, directed and narrated by Orson Welles. Incredibly, many of those listening believed it to be true and panicked. Newspaper reports described families fleeing their homes for the mountains, while others armed themselves with weapons and prepared to fight off the alien invaders. If it was just presented maybe with a brief introduction saying it was not really happening, but from then on it was played as if it was really happening, well, most people who heard that thought that it was really happening. People became upset. Some of those literally headed for the hills. They drove places to try to uh, pick up other people, uh, family and friends. Uh, they reported to the armory for duty. The response to this fictional alien attack resulted in many people preparing for the worst. The notion that our leaders, elected or otherwise, should speak on our behalf, I don't necessarily think that makes sense. There are a lot of people who might have better ideas than the people who are in government. I'd like to see a profoundly democratic, with a small d, unauthoritarian interaction with aliens. Currently, there are no known official protocols in place for an alien visitation. I think science and religion have more in common than perhaps the popular perception suggests. On one hand, we have science, which deals with reason and fact. On the other hand, we have religion, which deals with faith. Science is an evolving proposition. And what we know today will almost certainly be reformed and maybe even replaced at some point in the future. So to think that science somehow provides the truth in contrast to religion, I think is a mistake.